so glad you could visit us here on the Octopod, Orson and Ursa. Uncle Barnacles, can we show Peso our new Polar Scout badges? Of course, Cubs. Peso, my niece and nephew have been working hard. Take a look. That's our Starfinder badge. We learned how to find our way using the North Star. And we got this badge for learning how to make a shelter out of snow. But you're really going to like the next one, Peso. The Seaweed Bandage Badge. <laughs> we learned how to make an emergency bandage out of seaweed. And we got to practice on a real live narwhal. Great work, Cubs. There are lots more badges that we don't have yet. And we're going to earn every single one, just like you, Uncle Barnacles. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't have every single Polar Scout badge. You don't? Really? Are you sure? There is one that slipped through my paws over and over again. I remember the first time I saw a walrus in trouble. Oh, my flipper hurts. I offered to help. Don't worry, I'll move. Move along, little polar bear. We walruses can handle this. Whoa! But I didn't give up. My tusk is stuck. I'd be happy to. Ooh, get back, walrus emergency. And that's how it went every time. Just trying to. Whoa, whoa. And so I never managed to earn my walrus rescue badge. But now it's time for you cubs to earn your next badge. This one is for swimming through an obstacle course of ice flows. Let's go! Good luck, cubs! Here's your challenge. Swim through this maze of ice flows in under five minutes. I bet I can do it in four minutes. Bet I can do it in three. <laughs> Here we go. On your marks, get set. Huh? I think somebody's calling for help. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of these ice flows. Come on, Cubs, follow me. This could be a real Polar Scout emergency. And these balls are ready for action. Do not be afraid. We are Polar Scouts. And we are here to answer your call for help. We don't want help. We want our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big. With big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? They went to find food, but they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> And it's moving fast. Her mum said not to move from this ice flow. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice flow moved. I know what to do. Cubs, would you sound the auto alert? Octonaut to the HQ. and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we got to sound the octo alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. Shiver me whiskers. You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you can all get hurt. 
Quasi, Peso, take the Gup S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the Walrus Pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tuna, you and the Vegemals can help me prepare some bottles of Walrus Pup formula. <coughs> We're on our way, Captain. To the Gup S, mateys. <laughs> Up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some Walrus Pup formula. Rubble, rubble. Iceberg's getting really close. Too close. Move to this side, everyone. Now no, it's really very close. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. Cubs. Watch out! Got it. Oh, everyone, move back. Barnacles to Quasi. Are you getting close? We're under the icebergs now, Captain. Yeah. It looks like you're trapped right in the middle. And running out of room. Use the ice drill to break through the ice. This scurvy ice is too thick. Turn on the heat, Quasi, so the drill melts the ice as it goes. Heating drill now. That speeds things up. Hold on, Captain! <laughs> Don't worry. Help is on the way. We're getting really... very squished. <laughs> My mum always holds me flipper when I'm scared, and I wish someone would hold me flipper now. <laughs> Here, take... My paw. Oh, thanks. That's better. Quasi! Need a lift, mateys! Just in time, Quasi. Come on, everyone. Into the Gup S. Activate bottles. And now we need to find their mums. They may have returned to the ice flows by now, so let's start there. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I can help. I don't think so. No, nor me neither. Oh! Easy now. Ladies, I don't like the looks of this one. Oh, here we go again. Mum! 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 Oh, Waldo! There you are! little Otto! Oh, what a relief! Oh, Gordo, thank goodness! Oh, are you all right, love? We waited a really very long time, but we were carried off by a really very big iceberg. And then Captain Barnacles and his friends saved us! Huh? He does have that hero look about him, doesn't he? Ladies, how can we ever thank him for saving our pups? Hug! Wow! <laughs> there it is! The Walrus Rescue Badge. Well, well done, done, Uncle, Uncle Barnacles. Barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
How's the Christmas feast coming along? Ah, oh, I can hardly wait, mateys. Mmm, that Christmas kelp loaf smells delicious. Mmm. Christmas for the hubba the hubba. Tunip says the Christmas feast should be ready in about an hour. First up, set up a table pub. But first, they have to set the table. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> help you with that. You Vegemals are already busy enough. Aye, I don't know how we ever got by without these little mateys. Me neither. Shellington, tell us again how you met them. With pleasure, Peso. It was years ago that I discovered the Vegemals. Of course, I didn't know they were Vegemals at first. I was out doing some research when I found something very unusual on the side of the octopod. As far as I could tell, they were eggs, but they were bigger than any fish eggs I'd ever seen. In any case, it wasn't safe to leave them outside, so I brought them back to my lab to study. I kept a close watch on them day and night. Then, one morning, I awoke to a strange noise. It sounded like singing. And that's when I met Tunip. I'd never seen anything like them. They seem to be half vegetable and half animal. So I called them Vegemals. Well, the octopod wouldn't be the same without them. What is it, Dashie? Is there something strange on the map, Captain? It almost looks like there's a lake right here on the seafloor. A lake? At the bottom of the ocean? Oh, my! Now, this is a Christmas surprise. So you know what this thing is, Professor? I think I do, Captain. If I'm not mistaken, it's a brine lake. Brine lakes are made of really salty water that settles on the seafloor. They're very rare. In fact, I've never actually seen one. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and take a look. I'm coming too. I'd love to take some photos. And just be back in time for the feast. Don't worry. We'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> There 
It is the Brine Lake. Incredible. Cool. It's water that's underwater. That's right. Brine lakes are so salty that hardly anything can live in them. But there are lots of little creatures around the edges. Well, hello there. Merry Christmas. It's common. It's common. Yes, Christmas seems to come faster every year, doesn't it? Ah! Huh? Oh, jumping jellyfish. Lettermouse hmm. the Mervan. Oops. Shellington Dash and Inkling still haven't returned. Captain, come in, Captain. Shellington, what's happened? It's got us, Captain. Can't get out. A great big slimy. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Quasi, Peso, Tweak to the Cup Sea. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Sign of any of them. No sign of the guppy either. Captain, look at this. Shellington's magnifying glass. Something's not right. Um, Captain. Shellington would never leave this lying around. Then they must have cleared out of here in a hurry. Where did they go? Th th there. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers. Captain, get us out of here. Don't touch it, or you'll get stuck too. Don't worry. We'll get you out. Get to the cup sea. We'll use the tow line to pull them out. Boom! <gasps> We're surrounded. Brace yourselves. This could get sticky. <laughs> what is this stuff? It's called marine mucilage. Sea snot. It's made of rotting bits of plants and plankton. Just how I wanted to spend Christmas, stuck in a big blob of snot. Captain, those creatures are about to be stuck in here with us. Wait! That's not good. Sea snot can be very dangerous to any sea creatures who get stuck in it. We've got to help them. But first, we've got to get ourselves out. We'd better call for backup. Backup? Well, who's gonna get us out of this one, Captain? Tune in. Come in, tune in. Hubble, the first time of Kula. The Christmas feast will have to wait, tune in. We're stuck in a snot block. <sighs> and if we don't get out of here soon, there'll be no one there to eat it. Need your help, tune in. Sending an emergency rescue plan. Hurry! Super? Emergency rescue plan downloaded. Send out the actor alert. The 
Watch out this one. Welcome back to volume 17 of the Octonauts video training series. Today's lesson, quicksand, slime spills, and blob rescues. Hmm. Quicksand can be blob rescues. When rescuing someone from a blob, it's important to always have a rescue vehicle so you don't get stuck yourself. Extend a rescue line to the person or creature and use it to pull them out of the blob. <sighs> Always remember, a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. Now, let's try out our technique. I think I see a blob now. Help! 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 <gasps> Captain Barnacles, we are stuck and we can't get out. Stay in your vehicle, matey, or you'll get stuck in the pudding too. It's a blob. I mean the blob. <sighs> Here, grab onto this rescue line. Mm, not bad. And that's all there is to it. So remember, a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every, every time. time. Vehicle, rescue, line, pizza, blabber, obitana! Vegemars, do the launch ball! Sea snails, help is on the way. Hmm. I don't have a vehicle, but I do have a rescue line. Oh. Keep pulling, Captain. You're doing great. You're almost free. You're 
Sounds like singing. Shivery whiskers. Tune up the sea snails. Rescue the sea snails. Stella, come on, go on. a blob every time. Good work, Vegemals. Super Papu, this is quite a creation, Vegemals. You think it can pull the guppy out of the snot blob, too? Super power. It looks like you can use some help. Come on, everyone. Look! The blob's getting bigger! <laughs> Vegemals, it's time to deal with this snot blob once and for all. Move out for move out. A vacuum! Ah, good thinking, little mateys! Too much of it. Tune it. Pull up. Yeah. Now where can we pull all this snot? Oh, right in there. The brine lake. It's too salty even for sea snot. And there aren't any creatures for it to hurt in there. Sounds like the perfect place for this stuff. Head for the brine lake, Tune it. And a sleigh ride saves Christmas every time. Right, Tunip? Tunip! Tunip! I think he's waking up. Super? Easy there, Tunip. You've had a lot of excitement today. Good work, Tunip. We're all very proud of you. You and the other Vegemals saved us from that snot blob. And you saved all those sea creatures by the brine lake. And best of all, matey, you saved Christmas.
like dinner is served. Oh, 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 delicious. Vegemals, thank you for preparing such a wonderful feast. <laughs> but most of all, thank you for getting us all back home for Christmas. Hooray! Hooray! We're entering the coldest Arctic water. Now, coming up to an ice pack. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. At this speed, we'll reach the North Pole before nightfall. I can't wait to meet creatures that only live in the Arctic. Ah, the joys of polar life. I remember being a cub. Rolling in the snow, sliding on the ice, diving into the freezing water. I really miss it. Can't wait to get out there for an icy swim. <sighs> You're giving me the chills. I need some nice hot chocolate. It's only cold if you move slowly, Quasi. Keep swimming and you'll stay warm. It's as simple as that. <sighs> In just a few minutes, we'll be out from under this ice pack. Then we can set the octopod down and... Uh-oh. What is it, Dashy? The octopod's getting so cold that my computer's frozen, Captain. I'm... I'm having trouble steering the ship. Cap, we better keep the octopod moving, or the engines will freeze and stop working. We can't let that happen, or we'll all be in... Big trouble. Dashy! Activate manual steering now. Right away, Captain. Full speed ahead, Octonauts. It feels good to get my paws on the ship's steering wheel again. <sighs> We're right back on course again, Captain. Sharp. Aye, sharp enough to slice right through the octopod like butter. But the captain will steer us safely through. Yow! Giant iceberg dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Jumping off from board, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Shiver me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. Oh, ah! A fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <gasps> Three, two, one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. 
Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Ow! Captain, look out! We're trapped. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then? Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving, and it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> A blast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn. Ah, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? What? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Octa engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm going to need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. OK, everyone. Here we go. Arr! One more time. There. Oh no! I don't believe it! Another solid wall of ice! Allow me, my friend! What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable! As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. <laughs> You better swim aside, old friend.
Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to um, polish my spyglass. Yes, and I have to um, uh, clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. Oh, suit yourselves. <laughs> this is the life. Oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Shoving off from port and sailing out to sea on the octopod just to you and me. me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. <laughs> Father, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. <laughs> oh. hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octo Claw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm, zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Island straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right. Quasi, 
You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. The crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Cloy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. Ready, coconut. Crack! And drop! <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> gotcha! There's Clem! There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready! I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. <laughs> there he is. Damn drop! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice catch, matey. And I might add... Ouch! Wazzy! Rubbing trouble! Up ahead! Thanks, fishies! <laughs> That's Clarence. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, 
It just might crack open. Okay, drop! Uh, ah! And crack! My babies! What was in the coconut? This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. <laughs> Trying coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson, Quasi, tell him from me... Yeah! Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashie, what is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashi, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, octonauts. There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now. <laughs> that tunip? You found some strange objects in the garden pod? Well, let's go. Jumping jellyfish. They're eggs. But who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler! Come out wherever you are! <laughs> Eggs in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake on the octopod. Are you sure, Peso? Yes, it was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No, no. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. <gasps> 
That whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great, but um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! Water, water, find water! Water, water, find water! Captain, Dashi, come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. <laughs> Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashy, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use. We're getting sucked in. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. Captain, the ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain. We've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey, snakey, snake. Oh, no. Brave move, matey. I, I can't believe I just did that. Great work. Now hurry back inside. They're inside, Captain. Now's our chance. We've got to blast out. OK, Dashy, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! <laughs> now, blasters! Blasters, go! Captain. 
no whirlpools in sight. Good work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice, safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye, bye Bye! Well, Octonauts, it's been a busy night. Why don't we all get some sleep? Eh? <laughs> Just look at these anemones, Peso. They're so colourful. Each one looks like a flower or a, a monster. Ah! Oh, it's not a monster. That's an elephant seal. A very large seal with a great big nose. Like an elephant. Is he snoring? Hmm. Elephant seals sometimes do sleep in the water. I think something's wrong with his skin. He's molting, losing his old skin so a new layer can grow in. See? Does that hurt him? <laughs> Not at all. Molting is perfectly normal for an elephant seal. It's the same as when you grow too big for your clothes and need new ones that fit better. But elephant seals are supposed to molt on the beach where it's warm. Molting in the cold water will make him ill. Oh no, he's nowhere near a beach. Shellington, we have to help him. Captain, we have an elephant seal emergency. We need to bring him to the octopod. And he's really huge! And loud! We have to move him, but he'll never fit into the guppy. Hold tight, we're on our way. Sound the octo alert. Octonaut, to the launch bay. Tweak, we need to tow an elephant seal to the octopod right away. The Gupsy's ready to go, Cap, and I've added an extra strong tow line. Good thinking. Quasi, you're with me. Yow! <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Shiver me whiskers. He is huge. Let's get him to safety. We've got him, Peso. Let's go. Through this door. Hey, boss! He does it. There you go. Phew, he's okay. But boy, does he snore. <gasps> Peso, how's your patient? His temperature is perfect. As soon as he regrows his skin and hair, he'll be as good as new, Captain. He's awake. Where am I? You were molting in the water. We didn't want you to get poorly, so we brought you back to our ship, the Octopod. Ooh, thanks for helping me. The name's Leon. Can't wait to get to the beach and see my friends and family and... Uh... I don't think you're ready to move yet, Leon. Where is your beach? We'd be happy to take you there. Well, it's a beach, uh, <sighs> with lots of molting elephant seals like me on it, and... <sighs> oh boy, molting makes me really, really, really tired. He needs to rest while he finishes growing his new skin, Captain. 
In the meantime, we'll look for a beach with elephant seals on it. Activating Octoscope. No elephant seals on this beach. Searching for Leon's beach for days. We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now, let's get some sleep. Looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay. Let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper. Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> whoa. 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 Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, Sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on. To the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Look out! Oh! Quasi, on the beach, elephant seals. And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? Are you okay? I'm great. This is even more fun than the beach. Let's do it again. Attention, <laughs> Octonauts. We have found a beach full of elephant seals. To the launch bay. Just pull. <gasps> to the launch bay. Leon, aren't you coming? Um. Uh... Sure, I suppose. Peso, into the gut. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Wait a second. I'm having so much fun here with you. I don't want to leave now. Sorry, Leon. The octopod's just not big enough for an elephant seal. And the other elephant seals must miss you. But I'll miss you guys. How about if we race you to the beach? A race? You're on! He's fast! 
Elephant seals are strong swimmers. I win the race! Yeah! Hey, Leon! You found us! We were so worried about you! Come on, let's play! See? They really missed you. Oh, I never would have made it here if you hadn't rescued me. Chest bump? Uh, how about a hug this time? Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> This video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, whoa. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashi should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. Oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gut is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no. Come back, Dad. Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh. Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! Well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! <laughs> Pound! <laughs> Mix! Quite a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor? 
<gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashy, you take the sick bay. Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! To the kitchen! Jump! Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gap E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your octo goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp, kelp. More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Gotcha! You're safe now! Whoa, thank you! Don't worry, little fellas! I've got your dad! Dad! You're safe! I'm coming, boys! I'm just fine! Oh, my! It's good to be back home with my boys! Oh, we've all had quite an adventure! 
Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys. Let's show these Octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Captain, are you there? Come in, Dashy. There's a dangerous storm approaching, and there's going to be a lot of lightning. And when lightning strikes the ocean, the electricity spreads out through the water near the surface. So even if it doesn't hit you directly, you can still get set. Thanks for the warning. I'm heading to deeper waters right now. Barnacles out. Whoa, I've been hit. Whoa, a manatee. <laughs> Hey. Whoa, man, what's the hurry? Time for an emergency landing. Whoa, make that a crash landing. Phew. Huh? Yeah. Um, giant clam, I think you have something that belongs to me, and I'm gonna need it back. In that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Hmm. This could take a while. Uh-oh. Sounds like more lightning. And it's heading straight for those manatees. Time to sound the octo- Oh. Huh. Oh. Can't uh, quite reach. Aha! A sticky limpet. And a little seaweed. Bullseye! <laughs> Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, the lightning storm is heading straight for a herd of manatees. We need to get them to safety. Are you with the manatees now, Captain? Um, not exactly, Peso. I'm sort of, um, stuck. Uh, doing something else at the moment. But I'll guide the mission from here. The lightning storm's picking up speed, Captain. Keep tracking it, Dashy. Everyone, let's move those manatees to deeper water. Captain, wait! Go ahead, Shellyfish. I mean, uh, Jellington. I mean, Shellington. The manatees breathe air, Captain. They can only be underwater for a few minutes before they need to take a breath. So, the manatees will need to be moved somewhere they can breathe. Then we'd better lead them back to the Ouchopod. The Ouchopod? I meant to say, get all those manatees inside the Octopod now. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the cups. Yow! I'm digging this air today. You said it, ma'am. Nothing beats a little fresh air. Captain, we've arrived on the scene. Good. Then get those manatees moving. Aye, aye, Captain. Tunip, come in. Super trouble. Tunip, the manatees will need something to eat. Gather as much sea grass as you can and bring it to the launch bo- uh oh Super. Uh, nothing to worry about, Tunip. Just get the seagrass. Hmm. Hmm. Hungry barracudas. I'd better make myself invisible. Ahoy, manatees! There's a dangerous lightning storm approaching. We're here to lead you to safety. Sure thing, man. No problem. We're happy to go with that flow. Everybody climb onto a gup and we'll drive you down to the octopod. Here we go. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. They're moving very slowly. Oi, how do they ever catch any fish to eat? Fish? No way, man. We're vegetarians. We only eat plants. 
We never have to chase after our food, so we like to do things nice and easy. <sighs> Come in, Captain. Go ahead, Quasi. This is going to be trickier than we thought. The manatees are really slow. And they're a little disorganized. Well, you've got to get them organized. Line the manatees up and get them onto the gups one by one. Shiny. I've got to go. I'm sure I saw something shiny around here. Shiny, 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 shiny. The lightning's getting closer. We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub D with Dashy. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. Hi. Climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. Don't worry. We'll be right back. Come on, mateys. To the octopod. Shiny. 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 Whoa! Uh oh. Shiny thing! Looks like there's only one way out of this. Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work! Ah, Peso! The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear, Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know, it's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? <sighs> yes! It is? No! I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface and call me when you get there. is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Oh, no. Whoa. We're coming for you. We manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man. Captain, we've arrived at the surface. Good. Now flip the Gupti over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah. 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 Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. This is far out, man. Good. Now let's go. Almost empty. <gasps> Captain, it worked. The last manatee is safe. <laughs> Captain? Captain, are you all right? <gasps> I'm fine. How are you? I'm cool, man. Captain, the storm is passing. Thanks, Dashy. Now all the manatees can be released. Tweak, open the octo hatch. So long, manatees. Bye bye. Come on, guys. Let's go breathe some fresh air. Oh. <sighs> 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 now 
That's some nice air. Good work today, everyone. But what about you, Captain? Yeah, what happened down there? Oh, let's see. I was uh, struck by lightning, eaten by a giant clam, stung by a jellyfish, attacked by barracudas, escaped on the back of a blue whale, smashed into a shipwreck, freed myself, ran out of air, and, uh, oh, yeah, found you. Oh, man. Yeah, pulling me poor. Manatee flippers. So, Quasi, how on earth do you manage to stack all those manatees onto the gun? <laughs> I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the Octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Ooh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, oh, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, we're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? <laughs> getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. Don't take care now. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No wolves, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice, and they're running out of air. 
jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Uh, it's caught on something. Uh, uh. Yes, that did it. Uh, uh. Oh, there it is. You. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. <laughs> All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. He's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. <laughs> Bowhead whales. Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? <laughs> Look. <laughs> 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 Morris, narwhals, everyone, get back. Right. <laughs> 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 
Captain Barnacles, my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two, our mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Yip, 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 yip. Bye. 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 Octonauts, our mission today is to find out what kind of sharks visit this reef. I can't wait to get out there and study them as closely as possible. But not too closely. Sharks can be oh, dangerous. Hi, and that's why I just can't wait to get going and... Clean the gunk off the outside of the gups? What? It's your turn to do gup cleanup duty, Quasi. Ah, what's the big hurry, Captain? They can't be that dirty. Our gups are covered in gunk, and they don't work well when they're dirty. Ah, <sighs> aye, aye. I'll make them ship-shape, but I'd rather be swimming with the sharks. Um, what about the gup A, Captain? It seems dirty too. Don't worry, Peso. She should be fine for a quick mission. Uh, maybe not. Aha! There she goes. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Okay, I'll get to work. After a quick game of table tennis, come on! Oh, look, there's a pilot fish. No sharks yet, though. Hmm, let's move further down the reef. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Some might say this is easier for you, Professor Inkling. <laughs> You win! Well done, Quasi! <laughs> I'd better get back to cleaning those cups. Well, maybe just one more game against all of you. You're, You're on! on. Hmm, no sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It's a a sha sha sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth! Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa! <laughs> What's he oh. trying to do? Oh, Captain! I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself, and us. Hold on, Octonauts. Uh-oh, sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys, the next point wins. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers. It's the Guppe having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. You're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. Ah, we can't seem to shake him. 
Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, we need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Ready, Tweak? Now, close it! Phew! Good work, Octonauts. Fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you looked like a tasty dinner, me hearties. No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> what? <laughs> Who cleaned the gup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the gup and I'm ready for more and more more. You mean, you like cleaning? like it. I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. <laughs> then dinner is served. Oh yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're gonna do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you're able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we can find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups, and now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hearties. No sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> shark, shark, shark. And his teeth are still dirty too. Yow! <laughs> Steady. Time to eat and clean. Clean and eat. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! <laughs> He's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. 
but now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean any. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, pilot fish. I'm gonna miss that little fella. I guess I'll have to clean the cups all by myself next time. Oh, I'll help you, Quasi. You will? Of course. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. <laughs> 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 Alright, settle in everyone. The Vegimals have prepared hot chocolate. Kuba, kuba. Oh, and kelp cakes. Thanks, Junip. Thanks for the snacks, matey. Uh, but what are we here to see? Quite an amazing sight, actually. And that is? Dashi set up the remote cameras on the beach so we wouldn't miss a thing. Shiver me whiskers. What won't we be missing? Why, the baby sea turtles, of course. Oh, carry on, matey. Right now, the turtles are still in their eggs, in nests buried under the sand. I'll show you how they got their tunip. This is a video we took eight weeks ago. The mother sea turtles swim up onto the beach at night to lay their eggs. It's the only time they ever leave the water. And this is the same beach right now. The eggs have been under the sand all this time and should be ready to hatch at any moment. And we get to watch it happen. I can't wait. Uh, nothing's happening, matey. Well, one can never be exactly sure when the eggs will hatch. It could be a few more minutes. Or a few more days. Days? <laughs> Have patience, everyone. I'm sure it'll be well worth the wait. What is it? Oh, are the ants hatching? No, it's the wave tracker. A really big wave is in the area. It's moving fast and it's heading for the beach. Flippity flippers, what about the eggs? <gasps> They'll be washed away. Chopper! Won't they be safe buried under the sand? Sea turtle eggs are very sensitive. If they get too wet, they'll never hatch. Then we'd better do something. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have to rescue those eggs before the wave hits the beach. Once we've gathered up the eggs, we'll need to move them to a new beach fast. Don't you worry about that, Shellington. We'll be ready. Come on, Tuna. Tuna! Everybody else, into the Gup X. Right, we need to remove the turtle eggs from their nests and place them in these special transport containers. Please be careful. The eggs are very delicate and extremely sensitive to hot or cold. Yeah, fussy little things, aren't they? They are, Quasi. If they get too hot or too cold, they won't hatch. We'll be very careful. The wave is moving in fast. We'd better hurry. Octonauts, load those eggs. <laughs> The last one, Captain. Good. The wave is almost here. Tweak, we're ready for the Gup H. Roger that, Cap. Here we come. More tow lines, Tunip. Roger, roger. All right, Octonauts. Hook them up. Tweak, all lines are secure. Thanks, Cap. We'll get those eggs to safety faster and you can see bunch of munchy crunchy. Uh, hold on, Tweak. Oh, good catch, Gruber. This one nearly got away from us. Uh. Here comes the wave. Everyone, into the gut now. Brace yourselves. Just a little dizzy, Captain. Yow! And ready to go again. Captain, the turtle eggs aren't out of danger yet. We have to get them to a new beach right away. This one is too wet. I think we may have found one, Shellington. Sending you some pictures now. Ah, it seems to have everything the turtles need. The right sand, the right slope, and the right distance from the water. Perfect. Tweak, send us the location and we'll meet there to make new nests for the eggs. 
Octonauts, let's do this! The eggs are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. They're hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, just wow. wonderful! Look at them! Huh? <laughs> You're the little guy that almost got left behind! There you go! Hey, put that back! I can do it myself! Oh, sorry, matey! Just trying to help! Thanks, but I don't need help! We sea turtles got to do this on our own! <laughs> things are, but they sound hungry. Gotta go! He's right. Those seagulls would love to have a baby sea turtle for a snack. Then it's up to us to make sure the turtles make it to the water safely. Vegemals, are there any fish biscuits in the gup eggs? I'm not bad. We'll need all the fish biscuits you've got to keep these gulls distracted. Keep it up, everyone. We just have to keep these girls busy until all the baby turtles are in the ocean. Huh? <sighs> oh, me, oh, my. One of the baby turtles is going off course. Captain, it's your octocompass. Huh? Baby turtles use light to find their way to the water. The light bouncing off your compass must be confusing him. Keep the gulls away from him! Ha-ha! <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain! Yow! Feeding time, gulls! Take the biscuit! <laughs> Woo! Take that! I'm sorry, little turtle. I didn't mean to confuse you. <laughs> there sure are a lot of not turtles on this beach. Oh, so it's you again. Don't worry, I've got you, little matey. Be careful, Quasi. His shell's not fully hardened yet. Then I'll call you... Soft shell. Good name, but could you please put me down? I want to get to the water all by myself. That's what we turtles do. There you go, soft shell. Just a little further. Thanks. Now no more helping me. I'm almost... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, that seagull's getting away with soft shell. Tweak, follow that bird. We're hot on his tail feathers, Cap. If I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have stayed in my egg. Tuna, what are you? Oh, I get it. Shell, you're okay. Take me to the water's edge, please. Exactly where I left off. There! I did it! All by myself. Well, almost. Thanks, Octonauts! See you later, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Congratulations! Good luck out there. Nice work today, Octonauts. Those baby sea turtles are off to a good start. So, what happens to them now, Shellington? 
Well, they'll swim far out to sea and get bigger and bigger until it's time for them to return to this very beach and lay eggs of their own. How long does that take? Um, about 15 to 20 years. Yeah! That's a long time to wait. Sorry, Gruber. I don't think we have enough fish biscuits to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> Some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashi. And who knows what else we might find today? <laughs> Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! Three monsters! Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And make sure your gup cams are turned off. just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. <gasps> I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide no fin of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, Mateys, and she's coming right at me. Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. What happened? He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. 
When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Peso, stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashy, activate steering wheel. <laughs> doing peso he seems fine let me get a bit closer <laughs> he just tried to chomp me don't worry peso saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot it helps them cool off <laughs> oh uh, he may start crashing about as well now you tell me If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, but easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah. I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. 
Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. Whew. That sun sure is getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Taya. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you, but, uh, you know, I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Say, ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Captain? your accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh no, we orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. <laughs> yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Brace yourself! Peso, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. It's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkley. Prepare to meet your match in the game of Pirate Drafts. Avast! I've got you now! No, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, the Gup E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder. And we're drifting pretty quickly. Hmm. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a Gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. Oh. I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh. It's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. <laughs> Where did the guppy go? Look. Oh, no. Don't worry. We just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. We did! 
did it. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! Oh. I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We Orcas will help you find them. Huh? huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Yeah. <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! <sighs> We've got to stay with the gum. Jump again. <sighs> <sighs> Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes. Gotcha. Phew. Yeah. We've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. Yep, yep. <laughs> you did it. Well done. Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping. I think I see something. It's barnacles and peso. We found them. What's happening? Quasi, you found us. I knew you would. Hi, thanks to our orca pals here. But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! Yeah. You orcas can do everything. Now we can get the gups home. 
I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Hi, orcas and octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. How's it going up there? Um. A bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Almost. Just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Huh? Huh. Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast, and you won't be able to get back into the, um... Back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. Me hearty. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacle's here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures. Wait, please! I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes over. Just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Yes! Way to go! <laughs> yeah! Shiver me whiskers! You did it!
open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas? This path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. <laughs> If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack, courtesy of tunic. Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the Gup Sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, oh, it, uh, oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso, it's showtime. So xylophone playing sounds just like the beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Here we are, open water. Great work, Peso. Thank you, Octonauts. Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Good 
Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, Belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. <laughs> Barnacles. Aye, Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>